What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Bite for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Now, you know, there's so many rumors and reports flying around the next iPhone, but we're gonna put it all in one place and break down everything for you. Now, let's get this out of the way. It's believed that there will be three models for the next iPhone, a new 4.7 inch one, a 5.5 inch one, both with their current LCD screens and aluminum backings. Let's just call those two the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus for now. These names are not official. Reports also claim that a new higher cost stack logic board will allow for a larger capacity L-shaped battery to fit inside the updated 4.7 inch iPhone that will give it an extra hour or so of juice similar to the current iPhone 7 Plus. Now, there will also be a new premium 5.8 inch 10th anniversary iPhone that we've been calling the iPhone X for fun, but it could end up being the iPhone 8. It's going to be the flagship iPhone and really every feature known to man is being thrown at it. So here's what we've heard. The iPhone 8 will feature a 5.8 inch flexible OLED screen from Samsung that will allow for the screen to curve at the edges with a minimal screen bezel. Reports say the new design will feature two reinforced glass panes for an edge to edge glass design with a stainless steel metal frame between the two. It's really taking design cues from the iPhone 4, one of the best iPhone designs all time, but even more streamlined. Now, why is the glass back important? Because we're also expecting to see wireless charging for the first time on an iPhone. Apple recently joined the wireless power consortium with over 200 other companies that uses the Qi wireless charging standard. It's believed Apple will use this charging method that typically requires it to rest on some type of a charging mat or plate. But there are some of us hoping for Apple to make its patents and dreams come true for long range wireless charging to debut with the iPhone 8, even you know if it feels like a stretch. Now patent filings from Apple even featured a method where the base of an iMac could be used as a transmitter to wirelessly charge your devices. Either way, wireless charging is coming. Okay, let's get back to that screen. And with little to no bezel, that makes you wonder where will the touch ID and home button end up going? Rumors point to a potential fingerprint sensor that is embedded under the display, removing the physical button completely. Now an Apple patent for an acoustic imaging system would include acoustic transducers placed directly under the display. They would generate waves or pulses that would then be able to read anything that gets in the way like your finger, but even down to the details of the ridges of your finger. Other rumors say Apple might even just ditch the fingerprint sensor completely in favor of new biometric technologies like a 3D laser scanner for facial recognition. Now beyond unlocking your phone or using it for payments, a 3D sensing front facing camera could help with Apple's push for augmented reality in the future as well. Reports say Apple already has 1,000 engineers working on AR in Israel, and over the years they've acquired PrimeSense, the team behind the Microsoft Connect, and RealFace for cybersecurity and facial recognition. A 3D depth sensing camera could be used for augmented reality applications as well. We know Tim Cook has made it very clear that Apple is big into AR, and it could be the next big feature Apple pushes with the new iPhone. Now reports also point to Apple introducing USB-C to the iPhone lineup in the form of accessory cables or power adapters, similar to the 29 watt power adapter for the iPad Pro. And that makes sense because guess what? The new MacBook Pros are also all USB-C as well. Plus, you can expect an improved camera on the iPhone 8 and some rumors claim we might see the dual lens camera come to the standard 4.7 inch iPhone as well. Now there's an IP68 rating for even better waterproofing and dust protection, an all new 10 nanometer A11 processor that will be faster and more efficient, and an all new iOS that also needs a huge upgrade to Siri. These are pretty much common sense upgrades we expect to see. So let's just recap this all, bullet point it out for you, and go down this list for the premium iPhone. We're hearing a 5.8 inch OLED screen, an all glass body, wireless charging, no home button, a potential fingerprint sensor integrated into the display, a 3D sensing front facing camera with facial recognition, the lightning port, it stays, but there's USB-C charging capabilities, an improved dual lens rear camera, IP68 rating for even better water and dust resistance, and a new A11 processor running iOS 11. Whew. Now if this all comes true, Apple is going ham on the 10th anniversary iPhone, and without a doubt, it's gotta be the iPhone to have. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can email us at theapplebite at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.